Hey students, how are you? So today in this video, we are going to talk about bond lengths and bond energies of covalent bonds. And after this, we will see some of the drawbacks of electronic theory of valence. So now firstly, let's see that what is bond length. So the bond length or bond distance is the equilibrium distance between the nuclei of two atoms which form a covalent bond means simply when two atoms combine to form a covalent bond then the distance between the nuclei of both the elements is called the bond length of that covalent bond and the SI unit of this bond length is generally given in nanometers which is denoted by nm or in angstrom unit which is denoted by capital A and some of its examples are given here which are O2 bond length is 0.116 nanometers. Similarly, H2O bond length is 95.84 nanometers, etc. Okay, so now let's move to the next term, which is bond energy. So, bond energy or bond dissociation energy is the energy needed to break a covalent bond between two atoms of a diatomic covalent compound in gaseous state. Means simply the total number of energy required to break one mole of a chemical bond of covalent bonds is called the bond energy or bond dissociation energy. And the SI unit of bond energy is kilojoule per mole. And some of its examples are, for H2, its bond dissociation energy is 436 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, for H2O bond, its bond dissociation energy is 460 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so now let's move to the next topic of this video, which is drawbacks of electronic theory of valence. Okay, so now let's get into the drawback. So the first drawback is, when covalent bond formed between any two atoms, irrespective to the nature of the atom, the bond length and bond energies are expected to be same. But practically it was observed that they are different. Now it simply means in the electronic theory of valence, it was said that if any two atoms are combining to form a covalent bond, then its bond lengths and bond energies will be same. But when later on some practical experiments occurred, then it found that the bond lengths and bond energies of different elements atoms are not same. They are different from each other. So here is a table in which some of the bonds are given with its bond length and bond energies. Like you can see here that H2 bonds bond length is 0.74 angstrom and its bond energy is 436 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, F2 bond length is 1.44 angstrom and its bond energy is 159 kilojoules per mole. Then after this, Cl2 bond length is 1.95 angstrom and its bond energy is 243 kilojoules per mole and so on. Now the second drawback is, this theory fails to explain the shapes of molecules means this theory was unable to explain that why these atoms are connecting each other in a certain different angles and forming different shapes. Like for example, if we see the molecule of BeCl2, then you can see here that it is a linear shape molecule because the angle between these two chlorine atoms is 180 degree. Similarly, in CH4 molecule, its shape is tetrahedral and its bond angle is 109.5 degree and so on. And why these atoms are combining in such angles and forming different shapes was not explained in this theory. Okay, so now I hope you all understand about bond lengths and bond energies. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.